Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome or welcome back to It's Pooja Mahapatra and I am a second year BDA student currently living and studying in Kolkata. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you should start preparing for your BDA's first year professional. All the colleges have started and probably there will be internals very soon and then after 2-3 months there will be the professional university examination yeah it's called professional it's quite scary when i heard it for the first time but yeah it is called the professional university examination that you guys are gonna give and i had given in my first year now that the college has started you guys must be probably thinking or overthinking or overwhelmed or having mixed feelings about what to do what will happen in the future also might be crying like me like i did when i was in my first year yeah it really happened to me I know how overwhelming it is when you don't know about anything, things are bombarding at you. I know, I know the stress. That was my first year and I was like that. But ta-da! Here I am as a second year BDA student and I survived first year. You guys will too. So moving on to the first year paper. There are three papers that you have to write in your professional examination. Yeah, listen to me very, very carefully. It's three paper and why I am saying this because when i was in my first year i had two extra subjects yeah and at that time i didn't know that those are not part of first year because it was started so i feel like okay that will be a part of first year so we have to give exams so the two subjects that are added in first year for your second year that are dental materials or dm and preclinical prosthodontics practicals or pcp and theory preclinical prosthodontics you have your theory classes practical classes that you have to do the whole year and also the dental materials classes up to a few months and those two subjects are not at all in your first year so I was very overwhelmed and I was thinking like how will I cover up all these things I have no idea how to start anatomy I don't know anything I don't have any idea what is dental anatomy and then these two subjects are getting me worse so I am making it very clear to you guys who don't know that these two subjects are not a part of first year it's the part of second year and in second year also we are studying about oral pathology which is a part of third year so this thing happens in bds course now the first year professional is divided into three parts practicals vivas and theories so practical and vivas are done in one day and the theory paper is done separate day so what actually means if you see my examination university examination blog you will get an idea like there i was talking about the theory paper giving theory paper and the next day i was giving the practicals so it is kind of like if you have three papers you have three practicals total for your exam you will be provided six days three days for the theory paper and three days for the practical paper but here is another thing that i want to make it very clear since physiology and biochemistry are combined paper that doesn't mean that you will have only one practical you will have four practicals basically the first is anatomy the dental anatomy dental histology the third is physiology and the biochemistry practicals now physiology and biochemistry practical examination happens in one day so it is quite stressful because there will be groups divided and then you will be giving the physiology examination and then afterwards you will be giving the biochemistry examination or vice versa now don't be in stress or pressurized that what to do like how will i do all these things if i can you guys as well can to get there you have to make sure that you are eating well you are sleeping well you're chilling out you're listening to music you are watching movies you are doing what you love the most and you are well mentally so please do keep your mental health good you know in college there are different kind of things happening around so don't get too much involved in those things which hampers your mental health be involved but don't be too much involved in such things that hampers your mental health that is what i'm trying to say that doesn't mean that you will not make friends girlfriends boyfriends or anything but just don't be in a mental stress that will literally hamper your career because bds is a medical field and it is literally tough second year is oh my god it's super tough but first year as it is new so it seems quite tough but it is less 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 
less tough than any other in years so for that reason i'm telling you to please to take care of your health both physically and mentally also keep in touch with your batchmates because whatever the college is going through whatever the practicals are happening if you don't have anybody to share or to contact what is happening you will be in trouble you yourself will be in trouble if you think that i will not talk to anybody i will be like me and i have different group of friend you should have a group of friend that you had from your childhood but now you also should have some batchmates they are going to be your colleagues some seniors from whom you can get the help otherwise uh, it feels so much lonely you know it it really feels so much lonely like how to cover up all those things how to cope up with all the things that are happening your friends your batchmates will be you're helping you in the practicals you will be helping them you will be doing the work together so that will make the things much better you know the situations will be better than like doing all things alone and getting overwhelmed that is what i meant to say so the first thing is look into the question paper i have already made a lot of videos where i have talked about please collect your question papers now what the thing is many of you have commented also dm me on my instagram account about like sharing the question papers i can do that but the thing is there is a difference in the papers like of course the topics are similar but you know the pattern is different in various states like in west bengal health university the question paper is divided in a certain pattern and i think in tamil nadu or kerala there is a different kind of sets of question paper as i have seen a video where there were like the marks distribution was quite different okay so that is the reason i'm i'm saying you guys that you should collect your question paper from your own college from the state you are residing by that will help you the most now you have the question paper and now go through the topics i know i know it will sound really unfamiliar the terms will be unfamiliar to you but trust me once you go through the paper just highlight the topics there will be a line and there will be a topic like parotid larynx or enamel or dentin or cementum there will be few things pulp stone like this kind of familiar terms you will see that has been repeatedly asked in many question paper and that are really really important because the examiner it takes the question related to those topics so you have to first go through the topic no matter if you understand or not just see that which are the things that are repeating constantly highlight them so make sure to highlight those points so that you get an idea you can start from this part because this had already been on examination so you have a stepping stone to start your preparation the first step is already done and do it for all the four subjects now for anatomy it seems very very boring and uncomfortable to practice initially the diagrams yeah get 70% of the marks for diagrams only if you don't even write and if you know the diagram properly and that is a very good thing that that will give you a chunk of marks so for anatomy please it will take a lot of time i know i understand and it will take a lot of time but make sure to revise the diagram and to draw diagrams and to memorize the diagrams properly because diagrams are the only thing that will make you pass also for dental anatomy dental histology don't think diagrams are only for anatomy for dental histology as well there are histological diagrams there are many small small things that you can draw but dental anatomy dental histology is quite lengthy so you have to write also if you give the diagram that's much more appropriate so diagrams is vital for all the subjects anatomy and dental anatomy and dental histology it's the most most important because uh, that will give the examiner a much more precise view of how you have studied and the marks will be easily available to you if you have seen other medical videos everybody says in physiology you need flow charts flow charts are very convenient to look at and also very convenient for memorizing so for physiology if you provide flow charts that is the best thing you can do and for biochemistry most of the things are mugging up you have to literally recall remember and uh, i was not great in biochemistry but i did my best but yeah it's a very mugging subject it's, it's like you have to constantly revise and revise and revise and things seem so much um not leaving because those are all the chemistry part you have to study and yeah biochemistry for some people uh, i admit might be interesting so yeah biochemistry you have to literally mug up you have to then write it as per your knowledge and that's for biochemistry now let me give an example for anatomy like when i was solving my question paper i saw parotid gland and there were like 
topics that was related to parotid gland but the thing was the parotid gland it has a lot of subtopics like from any topic from any of that subtopic the question can be picked up so if you study about parotid gland and if you don't know what are the external structures the internal structures the structures that are passing through the parotid gland the blood supply the lymphatic supply the nerve supply like the nerve supply like the otic ganglion it individually comes as a short note so if you cover the whole topic you will even be able to answer the short notes so that is how you should study like the introductory part and then the nerve supply the blood supply the lymphatic supply that means the lymphatic drainage and uh, the diagram that's it and if there are some extra points like the external features internal features in case of parotid the uh, structures passing through it if you go through like that you will be able to answer both the long question as well as the short questions and you can give clinical anatomy for better marks this is how i made a note on non-keratinocyte and this was being asked in my first year professional examination and uh, uh, this note i made it myself and i drew few pictures and these are very simple pictures you know rough diagrams in medical you don't need a very proper diagram you just can give a rough diagram but point should be clear to the professor so that he or she can understand it properly that is much more important in physiology this is the jaundice and types of jaundice you know you give a flow chart and bingo you're done so if i say you some online platforms that i highly highly recommend is the chersey of medical literature essential of uh, medical science then easy dentistry you know you will find a lot of lot of topics there next year you will be covered with all the diagrams and uh, the diagrams are really really very understanding and uh, yeah so you can study from there my friends we most of the time we studied from youtube you know and then we have to even in train when we were traveling we discussed together i still remember studying anatomy together like in the uh, shop where we were just having tea and then in the train we were traveling to college and we were like uh, studying trigeminal nerve and the brachial plexus and everything else also one of the most important thing like brachial plexus i that was literally a very long thing and for that i had put the whole thing in a very small paper and just kept it on my door and uh, literally every day i used to see that and even uh, i used to call my friend and we used to talk about like uh, okay tell me which branch is from which part and like this you can do that it makes the thing much more like uh, easy as well as uh, like you we will be not uncomfortable anymore like many people are doing it with you together so first year in first year group study has helped me a lot so i will uh, definitely recommend to you guys the hostelites they do all the group studies they get great marks because of that group study you know so my advice to you guys is do cover the parts that have a chunk of numbers and then go to the topics that you find interesting because the first thing is to pass and to have a good marks to give the examination beautifully nicely and clearly so that is the first thing so do complete those things and then i will be sharing some tips and tricks on the vivas and also the practical things that i have gone through i will share my experience with you guys do let me know in the comment section below if you're interested to know the practicals and the viva parts as well there are a lot of videos in youtube so you can check them out as well and uh, i think that's it for today guys i hope that this video has helped you and if it has helped you even a little then do give this video a thumbs up it will literally reach to a farther audience and uh, it means a lot to me if i can help any of you there and uh, thank you so much for watching till now i hope wherever you are whatever you're doing you are well you are fine mentally physically and you're enjoying your life and if you're not don't get upset life is all about changes change is constant i am learning a lot of thing in my life and i'm sharing it here with you and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye